Wow. Look at that. Now this is the one over here that last time I put this second deep on here. The, the first deep was doing great. Uh, they had filled it out and I put a second deep hoping they would move up and maybe increase that brood nest a little bit. Well, the bees look good. From, from this angle, they look good. They are bringing some wax up here. You can see some of the wax that was formed on top. It was connecting to the uh, inner cover. So we're gonna pull this out and see if they're just building comb for honey or if they're actually bringing that brood nest up. Let's take one of these outside frames first, just so we'll be able to move it around a little easier. Nothing on that. I didn't really expect they would be fully drawn just scoot these over they are building the first let's see it looks like the inside four or five frames this this would have been the third frame from the right here and there is a little bit of a um, little bit of drone comb some honey some pollen in there or uh, neck so let's see what these I'm gonna give them just a little bit of little bit of smoke just to drift over the top of it this this is the new queen so hopefully the genetics in here are good that's the hope so this is one of the new frames it's kind of stuck on the bottom there it's getting heavy they are building comb that looks mostly for honey at this point and then on the inside, that looks like, yeah, I don't see any brood. There's no egg laying. They are capping some of that honey. You can see some of that, the white areas, that's capped honey. They're working on it. I'm not too concerned about harvesting this, this hive this year. I really just want it to build up so I can take it through the winter yeah that's all honey they're doing a great job building out this hive full of honey look at that that's a that's a heavy frame right there They're very docile. This this hive right now is very docile. Lots and lots of honey in this one. I'm gonna try not to drop this one. These bees are doing a great job. Great job of just building their hive up. So we're gonna let them do that. I'm gonna put them back together here. I'm not even gonna get into that bottom box because as far as I'm concerned right now, they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. They don't appear to be stressed. I don't see an excessive number of beetles. So we're just gonna put them together and let them continue doing what they're doing. Feeling pretty good about that one. Feeling kind of bad that I, I totally disrupted that one. Over here on the table in front of the hives, I have these nuke hives sitting here. I got a little surprise in this one.
That's ants, not bees. I'm just going to leave the lid off. Hopefully they go away. Let's see if there's any in this one. Nope. That one's empty. So the two highs from the split are fine right now. And down here on four, five, and six, I've, uh, I've done very little over here. I did a little bit of work a couple weeks ago that you didn't get to see. I put... I put a queen I put a queen excluder in here which is just a layer between these two boxes trying to get all the brood down out of that top box and um, I took one of the boxes off and moved it over here because this one was doing better let's see if those were the right choices let's go ahead and poke our faces down in here and see what's going on the middle hive here that I'm getting ready to put the camera on is the one that had a lot of ants in it and I, I uh, scraped them out and I moved some things. I'm hoping that was enough to get them out. So that would be hive number five. But right here is hive four, so let's open it up. And I'm not having a whole lot of luck with the camera today. I'm gonna put a little puff down at the beginning, at the, at the entrance. Give a little puff under the hood. They got that hood stuck. Hive number four. Lots of hive beetles. We squashing beetles. This is my favorite game. Doing the beetle squash. Trying to un keep all the bees unharmed. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm gonna give them just a little puff down in here. Let it waft over the top. And let's see what it looks like in here. This is hive number four. It's had very little maintenance. Look at that big old drone right there. You see that big guy? That's a male bee. They have the... They have generally bigger bodies and their eyes touch on the top of their head. Okay, it looks like looks like they've done a lot of work in here. A lot of honey. Pull this in frame just to see how they're doing. Okay, they still have room on this one. They're building comb out there. You can see they're building on that black foundation. This side's empty. I'm just gonna scoot these over, see. So far they're being very docile. Capped, fully capped on that side. Not capped at all on that side. Oh, this is interesting. I had forgotten that I put the towel trap in here. 
You can see I put a towel trap on this level. Well, look down in here. I thought that was a bunch of mold, but that's that towel and it's full of beetles. Let's see if we can get it out and take a look. Wow. Look at that. That's a lot of trapped beetles. That's the kind of success that I was hoping for all along. I'm going to drop that in my burner. I'll be burning beetles. I got another one down in here. Let's get it out too. Look at that one. That's what I wanted to see in those towel traps. I'm going to put more, more towels in this one because it's working and I still see beetles. I'm going to take a few frames of honey out as well. This is a small medium. This frame is fully capped. Fully capped on both sides. I'm going to go get a box. What I have is a wooden nuke box. The bottom is built in. It has one little small hole in the front. I have some empty uh, medium frames in here. I'm going to swap these out. Take five frames of honey and put some empty frames in. By shaking it. And then brushing the rest of them off. It's only a, a few of them. There is a little bit of brood on the bottom of this one, so I'm going to put a queen excluder in this one before I put this, these uh, new frames in here. I'm going to put a queen excluder down here between um, this, uh, let's see, that would be box. I really should do it lower, but for now I'm just going to do it right under this box right here. And go ahead and slide these in right in the middle hopefully they'll build these out with honey real fast we'll put these two back in these are the ones that they were working on here's some more of that uh, paper towel with loads of beetles in it that, that makes me happy that that that's working that's fuel for the fire there's more of it right there lots and lots of beetles that's good thanks Jared I'm gonna put this queen excluder this is just a cheap plastic excluder designed to keep the queen down below this level I didn't bring my scissors out, so I'm gonna get some of these cut using my knife here. I gotta remember to bring scissors out next time because it cuts really well with scissors. Not so well. Maybe I'll put that under the queen excluder to help hold it down. Again, I'm putting it parallel this time. Ugh. Oh. Even the guard bees that are trying to tell me to go away are being very polite in this hive. Actually, it kind of rips easily if you just start it on the long side. I'll put that right up under here. Put this back on top. Place the inner cover. little smoke to try to convince them to get off the top there. I think hive number four is doing okay. And I'm pleased with getting a little honey off there and that the beetle traps are working. That's nice to see that their numbers are being reduced by that simple towel trick. 
Now let's see how hive number five is doing. This is the one that I reduced last time and put a queen excluder in. Mm -hmm. 